Uh, yes, so we do have a PowerPoint I'd like to share with you. Uh, this uh, um, will summarize some of the key elements of the settlement agreement. Uh, this, of course, provides us with a path forward towards what we expect to be a comprehensive solution uh, to this. And as a result of this settlement agreement, the city of Gladstone will drop its litigation against the county. And my understanding is that that is a permanent act. Is how it is indeed. Uh, the Probably the uh, single most important point and probably the paradigm shift that en enabled both the city and the county to be able to work towards a resolution of this is conceiving of a solution built around a, a single library concept, con conceived of two separate facilities managed together as a unified library two-branch system, much like the uh, uh, libraries <coughs> we have in the Sandy area. Uh, and we are estimating uh, that we would be able to provide for the communities of the Oak Lodge service area and the Gladstone service area, a total estimated square footage of some 25,500 square feet of what would be new library space. Uh, the um, uh, larger facility, uh, 19,500 square feet, uh, would be located in the Oak Lodge area at a site to be determined through a uh, public engagement process. And then uh, in the city of Gladstone, uh, it, a 6,000 square foot facility would be built uh, and uh, presumably on uh, Portland Avenue at what is the old city hall site. Uh, that's what's conceived of. That could change if the city uh, would consider other sites and that's contemplated in the agreement. But the most important element of this is it calls for a robust public involvement uh, process with all of the residents and citizens that make up these two s service areas. We consider this to be a triple win. The county wins because we're able to resolve litigation with a constituent city and because uh, we're going to be able to provide 50,000 residents of Clackamas County and 50,000 residents of the library service district, two new libraries. The city of Gladstone wins because they will have a 6,000 square foot modern library facility in their downtown area. Uh, and they are not obligated to seek additional taxes for library construction. That doesn't preclude them from doing that, though. There's specific language in the, in the agreement that would allow citizens of Gladstone to look to some kind of uh, additional capital contribution uh, to the facility if they were so inclined. The uh, library, though, would be managed by Clackamas County, and we envisioned that the staff would become county employees as a part of that, uh, that management structure. The, uh, Oak Lodge community wins because we're looking at the ability to uh, construct a new library that is nearly three times larger than the present facility on McLaughlin. And of course, as we know, that's a tired old leased facility that is probably well beyond its useful life and its uh, current, <coughs> current situation. Uh, and we expect, uh, as a result of our ability to settle this uh, lawsuit, the ability to engage the residents of Oak Lodge to help shape the vision and to see that their aspirations for uh, a new library in their community is ultimately realized. This chart I would refer to as kind of a full disclosure chart. There's a number of numbers on there. I want to caution everybody that these numbers here are very conceptual. I mean, ultimately, when we start talking about construction costs and square footages, uh, those figures would be the result of a, a deeply involved architectural programming and planning process. But the fact that we're here today to actually contemplate that sometime in the not-too-distant future, we might be able to do that, I think is uh, 
one of the major accomplishments of our ability to move forward with this settlement agreement. Let me just quickly run through what each of those columns represents. Uh, the first column, uh, reserves, it, what that illustrates is the proportional benefit the two uh, buildings would gain from the use of 3.5 million in existing reserves uh, to buy down the debt uh, for the construction of both, both buildings. It is not a transfer of funds. Uh, the funds would remain in the hands of the county. The county would be managing and leading the planning and design and development process. Uh, and do these uh, do these facilities uh, together with all the communities that are involved and working as well with the city in terms of the planning. Uh, the uh, estimated annual debt based upon a 20-year bond at three and a half percent is also illustrated here. So for uh, the, the uh, what would be the Gladstone branch, uh, about $73,000 a year uh, for debt retirement over 20 years and $237,000 a year for the Oak Lodge facility, adding up to a total of about $310,000 in, in uh, uh, debt uh, annually for, for these facilities. Notably, the agreement identifies uh, that the city of Gladstone will provide an annual contribution of $200,000 a year. There is an inflation adjustment uh, in that, and they will also be contributing a site uh, for the uh, Gladstone branch. That, uh, I asked Rex that because I wanted folks to uh, know that uh, over the course of and life of a 20-year bond, uh, that $200,000 will exceed $4 million in contribution from the city of Gladstone to the, to the, to the effort from their general fund. And uh, the next column, of course, identifying estimated square footages, and these are based upon an assumption uh, that we would uh, have a goal of providing library space equal to a half a square foot per capita uh, for these facilities. The size of the Gladstone branch is uh, designed and arranged around their, uh, their population within the city, and the size for the Oak Lodge branch is based upon the unincorporated area uh, population it, it combined in the two service areas. And then the estimated building cost is uh, then uh, calculated on an assumption of about $300 uh, per square foot. That could change over time depending on what happens with construction costs and also what else happens in terms of the architectural design. But I share this with you merely to be able to illustrate that we've got the capability to be able to implement this agreement. This is, these are ballpark <coughs> estimates uh, to help show and illustrate that we can move forward. The uh, Settlement has specific obligations for the county and the, and the city of Gladstone. For the county, our obligation is to manage uh, the operations of both libraries in a very cost-efficient manner and in a way that serves the needs of all of the citizens in the two service districts. And uh, we would also be modifying the library district uh, intergovernmental agreement and the master order accordingly to implement the uh, settlement agreement. And then finally, we have an obligation to uh, lead and coordinate what would be a robust and transparent public engagement process uh, for citizens, uh, stakeholders in the Oak Lodge area and the Gladstone area as well. And our public and governmental affairs staff are poised to be able to step in almost immediately after the ink dries on an agreement to move forward. So the... Um, <clears throat> City of Gladstone will submit uh, a ballot measure that rescinds a current prohibition they have on using local funds for uh, library construction. And as I noted in the other chart, um, they will be contributing $200,000 from their general fund per year that it, on an annual inflation adjustment uh, towards library operations. And they uh, will provide city-owned land for the uh, Gladstone branch. And they will commit to participating in a robust and transparent public engagement process. I should note that um, should the county uh, fail to meet its obligations, the, um, 
The uh, financial obligation on the county uh, in the agreement is $360,000. This board has talked about the fact that were that the case, and I'm not anticipating that would be the case, that you would seek funds other than library district funds to uh, pay for that obligation. Finally, uh, a word or two about the robust public and engagement process. This is embedded in the agreement, uh, and the agreement specifically talks about the need to involve uh, the public in the development of details related to size, location, services, uh, and amenities. And we would specifically include the Oak Lodge Library Board of Trustees, the Gladstone Library Advisory Board, the Library District Advisory Committee, stakeholders, library users, the general public and other groups that have organized uh, that have an interest in the success of library services in this area. Uh, there's been some discussion and I've had some questions about well what happens to these formal advisory committees and I would suggest to you that uh, this outreach process um, may influence what the ultimate structure of advisory committees might look like uh, down the road if there are in fact changes that folks would prefer to see have happen. So I um, want to uh, offer some thank yous uh, for what's been a very intensive uh, effort on the part of staff and people in the community, staff from both the city of Gladstone and with Clackamas County. A uh, special word of appreciation to Laura Zentner for the work she did in pulling the numbers together and kind of running the sheets on the options. Uh, Mr. Chris Story for the work he's been doing with uh, developing the language for the agreement and providing legal counsel and support. Uh, City Administrator Jackie Betts, who uh, has been taking a, a point lead with the city and working with me uh, and keeping me advised and informed about the work that she's doing on her end, and then working with our public and governmental affairs staff to be able to uh, develop a a communication effort with the citizens of Gladstone and the county, uh, and also Mayor Stemple, whose um, uh, le leadership uh, in uh, working with a tireless energy to towards a solution needs to be acknowledged. Uh, finally, um, there are several folks I'd like to acknowledge: uh, Mr. Uh, Grover Thornfeld, Baldwin Vanderbilt, Chips Janger, Stephanie Kurtzenhauser and uh, Commissioner Savas for the um, uh, council uh, and the passion to which they've shared the need for us to consider and to assure that um, the community will be involved as we move forward from here. I kind of wanted to take a quick moment walking away from the PowerPoint and just kind of offer on behalf of both the city and the county an apology. For the past 14 months, uh, we've not been able to talk to you because we've been in the middle of this litigation, this lawsuit. And so our, our conversations about this subject have been necessarily behind closed doors, and the same's been true for the city. And I can tell you that all five of uh, these individuals who are sitting up at this dais um, don't necessarily like doing business that way. They would prefer to be able to talk about the things that we're doing. and uh, so. I see and we see uh, this opportunity here with this settlement agreement to start, or maybe better said, to restart the dialogue, uh, to uh, provide fresh eyes and apply some sort of new memes about how we go about doing this, to move beyond what has been a conflict between two governmental units and work mutually towards the benefit of everybody who lives within the city of Gladstone, and Oak Grove and Jennings Lodge. I'll also say this too, when we talk about a, a community engagement process, we all understand here that it's our job to give you reason to trust us. And we know that uh, and we honor that and we will follow through on our commitment. 